Welcome San Mateo County Dental Society. We welcome you back to our next installment of our GM meeting on October 18th, the third Thursday of the month of October. We gladly welcome our next speaker, Dr. Anders Nadestad. He is a professor, he is a lecturer, he is the director of the oral and maxillofacial surgery department at the Arthur A. Dugoni University of Pacific School of Dentistry uh, in San Francisco. He is going to cover specifically medical emergencies that we might encounter in the dental office so that we are prepared to take care of our patients, our staff, or possibly train our staff to take care of us if we're ever in a medical emergency. We welcome Dr. Anders Nadestad. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome. He will be sharing with us his knowledge and information on medical emergencies, particularly in the dental office. We learn CPR, once every other year and uh, it's very generalized the people that usually teach us are people who work in the medical profession yes and just curious what what makes this so much different i mean obviously for the the dental profession is there a lot of differences yeah. with our offices yeah there is medical? i mean part of part of what's really challenging for us is the airway that the first responders they don't necessarily need to worry about an airway if somebody falls on the street the airway is the least of their concern but we're working in there and we yes. drop things in there um, and things happen uh, to the airway. Um, and so the other thing is we expose our patients to a lot of drugs and a lot of materials. Uh, so we see allergic reactions more so than you would like taking a walk in the Bay Area. Um, and then uh, generally speaking, I think we're seeing a population that's getting older and less healthy. Um, and patients uh, being kept alive, which is a good thing uh, for them. Um, but it creates some unique challenges in the dental practice that we're seeing a change in that demographic, that we're not used to having patients that, you know, exceed 100 years old. And, and we see complex medical histories. We see patients having had heart surgeries that we didn't even know about 30 years ago. And then I think there's a general misconception that our physician colleagues know a lot about dentistry and we can just ask them and they can tell us what to do. But that's a misunderstanding. I mean, they, they know so much less about dentistry than we do about medicine. And, uh, and that's one of my key messages when I teach CE like this and, and in dental school is we have to learn more medicine. Tell us about some instances where you've heard stories or maybe you've experienced um, yeah. uh, medical emergencies in the dental office. Yeah. So part of my role as director and, and currently also interim co-chair uh, of the department is that I'm in charge of the crash cart team. Uh, and we have about one incident a week. Wow. So and, and for a, a regular dental office, that sounds like a lot. You yes. probably have one or two a year, if, uh, that, yes. if that. We're also on Fifth and Mission uh, in, in downtown San Francisco in close to the Tenderloin. And, and we get patients walk in our front door saying, oh, this looks like a good place to get a seizure. Let me do that. So one of the things that we're going to talk about is encouraging simulation, you know, practice. Role playing. Role playing, you know. And I mean, who knows? If, if you're in a single doctor practice, it could be you Correct. that has a medical emergency. And yeah. if your staff doesn't know where the oxygen is and you need oxygen, that's bad. So. For someone that's considering taking the class, watching this video, and not sure if they should take it or not, what, what would you have to say to them? Well, I think it, it, it's one of these things that we all dread. We all dread, you know, like we're on an airplane, you hear the stewardess, uh, you know, go to the microphone, the speaker, and saying, is there a doctor on board? And, and we sit there in our seat and say, well, we are doctors, but are we really? And, and do I actually know what to do? So I think if, if you have, and which you should, uh, otherwise you're complacent, have that fear that do I really know what to do if it really were to happen? These are some of the things you have to know something more about. It's one of those things where you have to be able to put it on autopilot a little bit um, and, and do some things that sits deep inside you and you don't have to go look for where's the book where's the manual that tells me what to do when the patient faints you actually have to know you know what am i going to do 
and I'm going to come up with some quick and easy uh, help to how to look good. Uh, also because, you know, you were in front of a waiting room, a patient, you're in front of your staff and you don't want to look like a fool. You don't want to look like you don't know what you're doing. I mean, it's bad enough that they're watching us doing dentistry now. We're doing medicine as well. Um, I, I really want to thank you for coming out. Uh, I know no, you're welcome. trying to find a date that worked out best and for you to meet me on a Sunday. And with all these airplanes passing by, I really appreciate you coming out. And we look forward to hearing from you uh, third Thursday of October. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I look forward to coming. I was with your dental society about, I looked in my files yes. about five years ago. I was talking about uh, implants uh, for general dentists. Okay. And in those five years, a lot of things have happened. I can imagine. Uh, for sure. Yes. Um, and um, but uh, I'm looking forward to coming back, even though this topic is maybe um, not as uh, financially rewarding uh, as implants may be. But if there's an incident that you're not correct, for. correct. Uh, I mean, you can save an awful lot of money on your uh, health insurance uh, if you. Uh, don't make mistakes like that. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it, and we'll see you on October 19th. All right. All right. I look forward to it. All right, John. Thanks.